up guys? Um, Kai. Kai's pulling me, hang on. Dude, I know there's a lot of smells, but you need to calm down. We might have a, a little, a, a tiny, you know, just like a, a itsy bitsy, just, just a teeny weeny, an absolutely micro-sized problem. It's actually a pretty big problem. It, it's not good. Okay, uh, lights awful. Um, I don't, I don't want to say that all of Colorado is closed right now, but uh, all of Colorado is closed right now. Because of the wildfires, the state governor made an executive decision to cut down any and all national parks that contain forests. And that includes pretty much everywhere. The Rockies is down, and even the mountain that I camped on last time I was down here in Idaho Springs is down. St. Mary's Glacier is down too, so that's not an option either. So pretty much everything that I planned on doing down here is closed until further notice, which means that I'm probably not going to be in Colorado much longer. My only situation is I'm trying to decide where I want to go. I've always wanted to go to Utah, but I was doing some research and because of COVID, a lot of places are closed inside and I need to at least have a place where I can go inside and edit videos, especially with how cold it's getting. I can actually start heading down to Colorado Springs and there's some stuff I can do down there. If I can find good places to park, I can go to Garden of the Gods. I kind of want to go to Wyoming, but I'm not exactly sure if there's a fire ban up there. Um, I don't think the forest fires I don't think they have any fires up there, but I'm not entirely sure. So I'm really having trouble trying to decide where I want to go because beforehand, it, I only had to worry about COVID and trying to figure out that situation. Now I actually have to figure out what's going on with the fire bans. So it, it's going to be interesting. And I don't know, I'm just going to have to figure it out from here. Guy is just done with the world. He is done. He wants nothing to do with me or traveling. Well, anyway, I just got out of this um, local store here. It was actually pretty cool. It's um, a bar of soap company. Do I have my bag? So I bought soap because I need soap. So that's the place. In case you're wondering, very like, very nice lady who owns the place. And um, we talked for about 10 or 15 minutes because I told her how I came down here and all that stuff. She told me about an app where I can actually look and see where the fires are. So I was trying to decide between New Mexico and Utah. Problem is apparently right now there is a mandatory 14 day, I think 14 day mandatory um, isolation for anybody who travels into New Mexico. Basically, if I go to New Mexico, I have to stay away from everybody for the first like 14 days or whatever because of COVID or whatever. And the lady was also telling me that it seems like a lot of states are going to just completely quarantine and have a complete shutdown. 100%, you can't go into stores and all that other stuff. There's nothing I can do while I'm here. Feral's closed, so I still need to try to find a better sleeping bag. It is really cold and it's just not working out for me. I think I'm going to have to try to go to Utah I'm gonna see if I can hit Moab. That's the plan for now. It's definitely somewhere I wanted to hit, but I wanted to go to Colorado and explore it first, but I think Colorado's gonna to have to wait. Oh well, looks like I'm gonna to have to get back on the road and start heading to Utah. Ready for this, Kai? bottle thing has this like lid on it this is my favorite one and uh, the thing broke off so now the lid doesn't stay on the bottle um, now it's not all right I mean a lot harder to mess that up so 
So, we are actually in Grand Junction right now, at the end of Colorado, and we are going to Moab. Apparently, there is a Forest 4 Expo in Moab, and I was hoping to hit some, you know, groups and stuff while I'm down in Colorado. That wasn't gonna happen, apparently, but turns out there's actually something going down in Moab. There's also someone down there who I've actually wanted to meet for a while. I figured it was gonna happen sometime in the future eventually, but I didn't expect it to happen this soon, so I'm actually gonna go meet this guy, and I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, I don't wanna say anything, because I don't wanna spoil it for you guys. The sun's already going down. It's about an hour and a half away, and when I get there, it's probably already gonna be dark. I'm probably just gonna set up, go to bed, and then go from there. I don't know anything about what's going on there, but I'm in contact with the guy I'm meeting up with, and he should know some stuff. There's been some beautiful scenery down the whole drive through Colorado. It was definitely a little difficult, you know, driving with all this stuff on there. Um, it was a little scary at times, but it was such beautiful scenery. I got as much video as I could while still being safe. It's really hard to record while I'm driving, especially when I'm really trying to just get to my destination, you know, no time to stop. There was a couple times I did try to pull over and get a video or a picture or something, but there was so much stuff closed down that every single rest area in Colorado right now is closed off, at least all the ones around the fire. So every time I just wanted to try to pull over, I couldn't because it was closed off. One was really bad. It was right around a turn and as I was pulling in, I started to see the sign, but at that time there's someone already coming in my lane behind me, so I wasn't able to turn. I ended up sliding on some ice. It wasn't fun. The mountains are so steep in some spots that they tell you if you're in a truck, you need to put in low gear. And then if you're going downhill, if something happens, you know, there has to be an emergency. That they actually have these like ramps on mountains. So if you're going downhill on a semi and you lose control and you can't stop or you can't slow down, there's a ramp that you can go up to save you from just flying off the road. Very genius whoever came up with that, but I'm sure that'd be terrifying just looking at it. I definitely wouldn't want to charge at that full speed in a semi, but I guess it's better than driving off a cliff. I actually did get a couple pictures that, I did get a couple pictures while I was on the way. I grabbed my phone real fast and like took pictures and stuff. I'm gonna post those on Patreon. So I am actually, posting exclusive content on Patreon now. I wasn't doing it before because I didn't have any Patreon pledges. Now I do, and I don't know how many of them actually look at it since it's like three people, but I am posting exclusive content. So if you want to see those, go support me on Patreon. For as little as $3, I will be posting exclusive content, $3 a month. It's not that bad, I think, maybe, I don't know. It helps me a lot and I'll be sure to try to give a little back by posting you know, interesting random stuff that happens to me throughout my day that you won't see in these videos. So that'll be all for today. I'm gonna go to Moab and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay,